Poke gear one. Let's go! Oh my gosh. Are you looking for sealed product and singles? You can find it all on Channel Fireball. Please use my Teoman affiliate code when checking out to help support my content. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos, instantly delivered to your email. You can use Teoman code when checking out for 5% off. If you're from Europe, Millipods Gaming has a wide array of sealed products, singles and more. You can use Teoman code when checking out for 5% off. Card Market is Europe's largest online marketplace for Pokemon cards. Whether you're looking for sealed product or singles, vintage or the latest sets, just follow the link in the description to find what you need. Want to show off your love for Tablemon? Check out my 2021 merch. These new hoodies and shirts are available on Amazon. Click on the link in the description to get yours. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for being here for another episode of 50 Keys, 50 Decks. We're in the final countdown. Eight keys left i can't believe it eight keys left it's been a wild ride and i wanted to take this moment whilst the lobby fills up to address a little bit like I, i'm getting a lot of comments in the youtube videos that this is affecting my psychology and that i look very salty and very desperate that i'm a grown man and i should be a crybaby and whatnot um so i just want to first off say that you never know what another person is going through so you should never make assumptions. It's very easy to be sitting down, comfortable on your couch, on your chair, whatever you watch the videos, watching someone, right, whose job this is and criticizing, all right? So this is me opening up a little bit on the state of Tableman, right? I started doing Tableman full time uh, almost four years ago. It's gonna be four years on the 1st of March, actually. And I, I took the leap of doing Table 1 full-time because I wanted to create a life that made me happier and that revolved around competing, traveling, and coaching, all right? And it's now going to be a full year, pretty much, of COVID, right, where there's no travel, there's barely any, like, official competition right but only the players cup and i have less than half the people uh still active in coaching that i used to have all right so imagine right what it feels like to have a full whole year where everything you've worked for so hard right everything you've strived to build is no longer there, okay? So just take a minute to think about that. Take a minute to think about that and like whoever you are, wherever you're at right now, whatever you are doing, imagine if everything you had worked for for the last three years was now completely gone, right? Just try and picture that, okay? Like, it's not completely gone, right? What I have is a Players' Cup. A uh, tournament that happens once every three months where you have all of these loops and things you have to go through, and that's it. Whereas before I could get this, like, competitive itch going, right? Pretty much, like, every other week. And every week, right? Between League Challenges, League Cups, and so many regionals. I could go ahead and do that, right? I could go ahead and um, like get that out of my system every other week. But now I get to get all of this, right? That all of this competitiveness that you see that I go through um, once every three months, all right? So I would invite you to not ever assume anything about anyone right and just try to be a little more empathetic right regarding what people might be going through you never know right you generally never know what people might be going through it's not a good idea to assume anything and 
Yeah, this is me opening up a little bit. The three years I worked for to build Tablemont to what it was to create a lifestyle that made me happy went away within a span of two weeks, right? When COVID hit. And it's been like this for a year now. And it's going to remain like this for the next year. So what you see, okay, what you see me go through in the videos is a little bit like, well, not a little bit. It's a lot of the frustration, right, of this inability or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's just rough. It's been a rough year, right, for everyone, not just for me, obviously, for everyone. Like, I'm not even focusing on the game right now. It's been a rough year for everyone, right? I'm sure there's a lot of people going through very similar things to what I am going through right now. And that's what we have right now, unfortunately, right? It's the only thing that we have. This Players' Cup is the only thing I have right now. So I am going to live it very intensely because I created my whole life around this, right? Around Pokemon, around competing, and it is no longer there. It went away, right? Everything that I worked for really hard every single day for three years went away, and it's not coming back anytime soon, right? So part of the emotions that you see in every video are exactly that, right? It's Tablemon going through and processing, right? Tail well, not even Tablemon, Pablo the person, right? Because there's Tailmon, the the thing you see every day, right? Well, not every day, but you know what I mean. Um, like, well, you might see me every day. Tablemon the character, right? The the entertainer, the content creator, versus Pablo the person, right? Pablo the actual person. There's, there's a big difference, right? There's a big, big difference. And this is what I've been living. Yeah, this is me opening up a little bit about what, I, what I've been going through. So, yeah. All right, so try to not make assumptions and just try to be a little more empathetic of people yeah that's the best thing you can do empathy is the best thing you can go for and you can see i'm very calm right now okay the emotions that you see in every video it's not like i stay upset the whole day right like i finish recording and then that's it that's i'm done for the day and i move on right so all right now i'm gonna focus on the game <laughs> after that speech okay so i feel like i should take the initiative my big charm is prized, so I could end up getting KO'd, which is something I don't want. But I don't think there's a way for me to avoid it. So I'm gonna grab these two. Oh, wait. Well, you know what? Maybe I should just continue to power up, honestly. Like, my opponent is clearly not doing a lot, right? My opponent is clearly not doing very much so far. And having two birds powered up seems like a good call right here. So, we'll see. I mean, are they playing scoop up nets? We don't know, right? Okay, so I get Marnied. That's all right. I don't mind the welders being at the bottom. And I hope I don't regret saying that's all right being Marnied. Yep. <laughs> All right, so they're finally gonna take the initiative right here. So best case scenario for me is a, I tank a hit, right? That is absolutely the best case scenario. I tank a hit with this person and then I shuffle it back in with my GX attack. That is absolutely best case scenario. So oof, with the silly, well, I do have tool scrapper, I guess. Yeah, I actually have Tool Scrapper. I'm just going to go ahead and research here. <clears throat> okay, so I took an energy. That's fantastic. Huh. So if I hit four, not guaranteed a supporter of any sort. So 
putting the energy on the active would be very greedy. So I'm just going to put it here. And I'm going to go ahead and train it to burn. So if I put this energy on the active, then next turn I could threaten the KO with Sky Legends and on two other things. But I feel like at this point, if I don't get KO'd, like as long as they don't have scoop up nets, which they don't seem to have, I can go GX, right, to KO this, this, and this, or maybe the Spiritum and the two Siggies. And I'll be able to boss KO this for game. So, nice, I do tank the hit, perfect. Are we getting plus one with this person? I think we are. Okay, I definitely want to get rid of this quick ball. I don't foresee myself needing reset stamp at this point anymore, thankfully. Right, so I'm just gonna grab, I'm gonna grab this just in case I need it for whatever reason. I don't expect to need it. Um, but yeah, now I'm just gonna go ahead and Sky Legends, prevent the prizes, and I'm gonna KO the Spiritum for sure. I reckon the two six Sigagoons, right? Because that way, like if they do play scoop of nets, they can't reutilize them. Two six seconds don't make a difference. And I have game in hand. I actually have game in hand. So I fully expect to be Marnied here, right? I fully expect to be Marnied. I do have boss. I do have another Poke Gear available. My deck is relatively, it's not thin per se, right? It's not thin per se, but you see I switch. They're down three Marnies. They went boss. Plus one to start off, right? To start off. Plus one to start off right here, right now. There we go. All right. So that first game was me opening up a lot and there's like, it's gonna keep happening, I'm gonna keep raging, but if you take a look at my videos in January, uh, like I'm doing double daily uploads, right? So that already takes a toll on like the amount of time I have to dedicate this. And then um, I feel like in January I had a very good, I had a much better attitude, I guess, in the videos purely because um, there was no pressure, right? But this is the one competitive thing. So I'm gonna live it very intensely. Like I used to live league challenges and league cups and regionals and internationals and worlds, right? That's me, that's Pablo, the person who loves to compete, all right? So, and I mean, you're free to criticize, you're free to say stuff, anything you want, but I'm trying to share this so that you try to understand a little bit more where I'm coming from, right? It's like, it's been a rough year with COVID, it's gonna be another rough year. Um, obviously that affects me economically and my channel doesn't get a lot of support like other big uh, YouTubers or streamers um, in terms of subscribers on Twitch, which is part of the reason why I stopped streaming as well. Um, so yeah, it's rough, it's rough. And I like this series has been fantastic. The support has been fantastic. Um, like almost a thousand of you are coming back um, every 12 hours to my channel to watch the next year. And I really appreciate that. And I hope I will continue to provide entertaining content in the near future so that you keep coming back. Um, but yeah, it's it's been a tough year. And part of the frustration that you see is with the game, right? Because I do think this standard format is the absolute worst standard format there's ever been, right? Like I've been playing for almost 20 years now. I will say this is absolutely the worst standard format there's ever been. Um, so between the terrible format, um, the lock factor, which I hate, right? I absolutely hate because it's out of my control, right? And the frustration of COVID and everything canceled, well, that's a recipe for disaster, you know? So like, I can't apologize for being me, right? That's what I offer in my channel. If you don't enjoy my rant, if you don't enjoy watching me rage, I completely understand it, right? And feel free to, unsubscribe to not watch my videos, right? But then to constantly watch my videos, to constantly tell me like 
that I'm raging, that I know I'm doing that stuff, right? It's what I'm putting out. It's what I can offer right now. If you don't enjoy it, that's perfectly fine. I'm not asking you to watch it. You're not obligated to watch it. Yeah, just try to like, maybe with all that I've said in the past uh, 15 minutes of talking, you are more aware of what I'm going through as a person, right? Because it's very easy to see the table one character behind the screen, right? With the Poton store and the sponsors and it all looks very fancy, but there's a lot going behind every single person, right? I am a person, I am not a, a video making machine. So, you know, empathy. That's, that's what the world needs more of all the time, empathy, right? All right, so that's enough sharing, right? Completely out of character, obviously completely out of character because you would expect me to be raging. Um, I will say I got very lucky in the previous game, but I also feel like my opponent wasn't playing switching cards. I have no clue. I have no clue what happened in the previous game and how I won it, but hey, we won it. Um, all right, so not a bad start. Not a bad start, I will say. We're up against Eternatus again. This time with the poison, though. This time with the poison. So it would be pretty neat if they whiffed energy, which they did not. Okay, so we get poisoned. That's all right. Okay, so what will our top deck be? It is a quick ball, not a very useful card. Okay, so I'm going to tackle. Oh, my Cynthia Caitlyn is also priced. I mean, my Guzma Hall is also priced. So now I have to draw one of my four fires raw or one of my two stadiums so i have six outs or the spinner so seven outs in the next three cards that is not very good so because of that i'm gonna thin right i am absolutely going to thin and then i'm gonna cynthia caitlin away a boss to get back a boss and i don't hit a single energy all right so we're already far behind this might be a plus one <laughs> sort of um, sort of game. What can you do? Um, what can you do? You choose to go second, so you can do that. The Guzma Halloping price is 10% chance. Not much I can do about that, you know? Really not much I can do about that. Really not much I can do about that. And now they have the perfect setup for the one shot on the Moltres Articuno stuff. So it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be a rough match right here. Maybe if my opponent whiffs the retreat. No, because I'll still be going down in between turns, right? So. All right, double alternative is set up already. I have way less hope in this one than in the next one. I mean, than in the previous one. The previous one worked out so nicely. They have yet to play a supporter. <clears throat> they have yet to play down a supporter. You see the Hoopa, interesting. And there's a research. No Marty, thankfully. <laughs> They do find the stadium, so they will take a prize card. Not much for me to do right there. I wish they had to use a switch instead of the stadium, but that's all right. Okay, next card. Of course, right, that's that's what happens. Next card, yeah, let the raging begin. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna grab the fire. I'm gonna attach the fire right here. I'm gonna go greens for giant hearth and big charm. Okay, so I really need them not to have boss. I really need them not to have boss right here. We're gonna get rid of the vitality band. 
Uh, well, the Vital Band could have been useful. It's all right. Okay, so now I go victory sign. Attach these two energies. Because it's a poisoned version, I'm hoping they don't have crush hammers, although there are people who love to have inconsistent decks and they play poison with... Um, they play poison with the thing. They play poison with... Oh, they have the boss, man, every time. Okay. Well, at least we're not getting KO'd. This guy has oh, 120 HP, though. It's not great. Okay. So I only have two prizes to take, not three. I mean, I'm obviously weldering. I think I definitely go after the Toxic Rogues right here. Now my hand is dead, though. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. I mean, I'm going to be taking two prizes, sure, but still. Okay, I don't want to give them the free prizes right here. So I'm going to KO this guy. KO that guy. And I should do the damage to the active, because then the powerful energy might surprise them. Like, that might get me the surprise KO I need. I really needed that third prize, though. Okay. The cool-ish part is that... Um, I'm dead drawing. This is rough. I was gonna say the cool there's no coolish part. <laughs> I'm having so much trouble. There's absolutely no cool-ish part right here. Am I getting Marnied? I mean I wouldn't mind seeing a Marnie because then that means that I did get bossed. Getting rid of the toxic rogues is definitely good though. I actually would love to get Marnie right here. Okay, so they switch out. <clears throat> okay, that's fine. That's fine. I know it's weird. Oh my gosh, there hasn't been any music. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to put music. Oopsies. Okay, so poor doll goes boop boop. No Guzmahala. I wish I had Guzmahala. Oh, there's the powerful energy, okay. The thing is, how, how on earth am I going to power up another bird, though? Like, I get to power up this one, right? I definitely get to power up this one. Okay. I actually only have one boss left. So if I go boss KO this guy... It doesn't really help my case at all. I don't think I'm winning this one. I think I definitely need a welder for next turn. How do I only have one fire? Is this my play next turn? No. I don't even know what to grab anymore. I'll grab this. I'll grab another greens, I guess. Yeah, grab another greens. I'm not super happy about this, though, for sure. Um, let's send the birds. I think I can quick ball now. One of them. One need three. Can grab this, I guess. And then I can go victory sign and power up. Uh, being down one boss is awful. Not getting that third prize card was so huge. Not getting that third prize card was so huge. 
Okay, well, there goes my powerful energy, which I don't need, right? Which I actually don't need pretty much anymore. I do need an energy, though. Okay, so, I don't know. Maybe I should have been more aggressive with the other dude. I don't know. I don't think I'm winning this. I really don't think I'm winning this one. I don't think I'm winning this one. I've only done one switch too. Okay, ooh, that's, oh my gosh, that actually, that is huge. That is actually huge. Well, I can't be KO'd if they have the Toxic Rogue, right? I can't be KO'd if they have the Toxic Rogue. Okay, I got boss. Does that help me in any way, shape or form? I think it does. No, it doesn't. Just gonna grab the welder. <laughs> There's the boss again. Okay, I think I wanna research. I'm assuming I'm gonna get an energy here, right? Which I do. Jeez. Okay, so now I'm one boss away from winning the game now. If I somehow survive this turn. So I need them to not have the third Toxic Rogue. If they do... <laughs> well... <laughs> okay. They just researched away another stadium. Oh, I can't believe they just had the other Toxic Rogue immediately. If I'd gotten Big Charm. Now I need my other powerful energy. I'm not winning this. I tried. I tried. I tried. Why don't you have 310? If you have 310, this would probably be game over. Okay, so I need to stamp to one, which we all know how effective that actually is. They're only down two bosses too. I mean, that's a start. So what do I need? I need a welder for next turn, right? I absolutely need a welder for next turn. Like, I think I can still do this. Okay, so I'm gonna greens. And I need a reset stamp. I have one welder left, wow. I mean, my deck isn't too, too big. I have so much energy in the deck though. Okay, well, it is what it is, you know? So we're gonna stamp to one. We are going to go quick wall away the switch for the thing, we are going to, we have plenty of energy, right? So I, I just, I want to thin, I need to thin. I absolutely need a welder next turn and a hit. I don't have good chances of welder though. Oof. I have a chance. Not a very good one, but I have a chance. Wow. Um, I mean, this doesn't change anything. If I KO the slow, it, it, actually, if I KO the slow bro, this is even better. Okay, so, Poke Gear 1, let's go. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, am I actually going to do this? Am I actually going to do this? Oh my god. Okay. We don't know if they can kill me. I'm gonna have eight cards left in the deck next turn. <sighs> they can't one-shot me with what they have right now. Even if they get another slow bro, they cannot one-shot me. Next turn I top deck. As long as it's not an energy, I can thin an energy and then my Poke Gear cannot miss the boss. My Poke Gear cannot miss the boss next turn. Why did they promote Crobat? That makes no sense. No way I get to the finals with this deck. I have a boss left. No poison. Let's go! Let's... Go, I can't miss boss. I cannot miss boss. I cannot miss boss. Oh my god, stupid toxic rogue. Let's go. What even is this? What? All right. I need a breather <laughs> after that intense game. I'll see you in the finals. All right, on to the finals where we get to go second for a third time. I can't believe I won the previous game when I whiffed energy turn one to attach to Big TV. That is brutal. That is brutal. All right. Oof, okay, so. What are we up against? I do not know. I have two chances with the Poke Gears. Two chances with the Poke Gears. And we're up against Blastaphalon. So my GX attack could be key here. My GX attack with a Vitality Band could be key. Or with a Powerful Energy could be key. All right, just a pass. I cannot dunk. All right, I'm I'm very happy with this uh, greens hitting. Okay, so if this is a on deck, you would imagine they will not have any sort of uh, hand attack. So I can safely poke it here, here, grab the welder, and then I can go greens very easily for a tackle for my two birdies and honestly a vitality band that's gonna immediately tell my opponent what i'm trying to do but i'm okay with that i'm actually okay with that so double birdie here because i have the welder well you know what i'm gonna have more opportunities to do that i'm gonna grab the syndicate lane to make sure i have a follow-up to the welder and then I'm gonna Vitality Band, and I'm gonna Victory Sign. So I have two fires, so I'm gonna attach these two. Attach these two, and then we pass. So now we have Donk Potential, if my opponent doesn't do anything, which they didn't do last turn, right? They know I have a welder, and I feel very safe that nothing will happen to my hand. Plus five! Wow, I'm so sorry, Dark Snow. I am really sorry that you were so unlucky. Plus five! Um, the time I open up about my feelings a bunch we get rewarded with karma. I don't know. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm very far behind as I am recording this with the uh, code giveaways, but every video will have a code given away. I will make, uh, I will make 
Like, my, you have my word on that. I just haven't been able to um, uh, to get to it because I've been doing a lot of other things. But I finally finished my graphic design course. This is once again me opening up <laughs> about my personal life, I guess. So I should have more time to to catch up with that and other things. Um, Dark Snow, so sorry about the terrible draw you got, and I'll see you in the next key.